Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the Lab Report. So what is a Lab Report? Uh, since this is the first episode, let me introduce you guys to what it is and why I'm doing it. So the Lab Report is an opportunity for me to tell you guys the research that I've been doing uh, you know, at Codemy and like give you guys a bit more transparency in terms of what kind of content will be coming up in our site. And when I started out Codemy in February, uh, I wanted to use a new technology to create the infrastructure that was going to be the foundation of the site and, you know, everything that I'm doing here at Codemy. And so, you know, I did research into Docker and, uh, you know, basically came up with some kind of solution that I actually put into production. And as a result, we now have a, a very comprehensive video series over here um, about Docker and how you can build your own infrastructure and deployment pipeline uh, using Docker, Rancher, and Drone Continuous Integration Server, uh, and actually have all that deployed in production. Uh, so, you know, the goal was like to, to, you know, make the process as efficient as possible. After all, Codemy is right now currently a one-man team. So I needed to do a lot of automation in order to get a lot of work done. Uh, so Docker came to the rescue. I did a lot of research and I decided that it would be good to share this technology with the community. Um, because I realized that, you know, when new technology comes out, even though there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of things going on, like, you know, people are making all kinds of uh, cool stuff with it. But it's very, you know, uh, seldom that it gets deployed into production uh, because, you know, there needs to be a lot of research that needs to go into it. Um, and, you know, things don't always work out of the box. And so basically, Codemy's purpose um, is to provide that research and to, like, give you, like, the gotchas, you know, so don't, you don't run into those problems when you're deploying them into your team or in your product. Um, you know, and so that's why, you know, I took the time to do the research into Docker and created a video series about it. Uh, and as you can see here, we have 29 very, very cool videos that show you uh, from start to finish how to leverage this talk technology and the benefits that come with it. Uh, you know, and, and so now you need even less time for research because of what we're doing here at Codemy. Um, and so, you know, I also came up with another um, technology that I wanted to learn because I ran into a problem, uh, you know, working with Codemy. And that is, you know, as you can see here, we've been creating this really cool uh, Rails Foundation series as well. And, um, you know, creating the Rails Foundation series, it, the videos are cool, but it would also be nice to be able to like have, you know, snippets of code in the text area in the description over here. And the way we upload video in, uh, in here is we're using Vimeo for our private member videos and YouTube for the public videos. And the description box on Vimeo and on YouTube is very primitive. It's just a text area. And I can't do very much. I can't add pictures. I can't add links. Um, you know, it's very difficult. Uh, and I can write some kind of code to like parse links and whatever. But it's still not, um, you know, enough features for me to able to be able to create something which, you know, has like uh, syntax highlighting. Uh, and so, you know, I started, you know, I started with a problem, right? Um, you know, to do the research for. Um, you know, I realized, you know, doing research into Docker would be valuable. So in the same way, doing research into some kind of front end, like JavaScript, getting really back into doing real JavaScript development would be very handy for me. Uh, so I looked at React and I looked and I found Slate, which is a React component, which is also a framework for building a full text editor, just like what you're looking at over here. Um, and I realized that to do, you know, real front end development, I really needed to get into Webpack as well, because, you know, the JavaScript community moves really, really fast. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of stayed away from it all uh, before. But, you know, now, you know, I realized that it, the importance of JavaScript it's everywhere. It runs in the browser. It's the only language that runs in the browser. And, you know, stuff's happening in that community so fast, like things are moving at a speed of light. And so, you know, I figured that, you know, a lot of companies probably feel the same way I felt, which is like, oh, my God, there's all these JavaScript technologies. There's like Browserify, Webpacks, Grunt, Gulp. You know, which one do we use? Uh, so, you know, I figured that it would be worth it for me to take the time to do the research uh, and, you know, share this with you guys. 
Um, so, you know, like this will also give you an insight into like what happens. So once I do my research, I come up with a solution. So I'm going to show you guys a solution I came up with in just a few seconds. Um, and you know, I came up with a solution and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing more videos that we're going to have a series on doing front end development, you know, with rails, uh, or well, you know, front end development, just period. But in this case, it's in the context of rails. Uh, you know, because I love Rails. I do love doing development with Rails. For the backend stuff, it's brilliant. But sometimes you do need that rich front-end interaction, and that's where React and JavaScript and, you know, Webpack and all that stuff comes in. Just su suffice to say that, you know, expect a video series coming on very soon uh, on our site. Uh, and so, you know, if you're a member, you'll get access to that right away. And if you're not, um, you know, become a member, you get access to all this great content, the Docker for Developer uh, series, the Rails Foundation series, um, you know, like the Rails Foundation series is going to give you that base uh, you know, to be able to adopt new technology quickly because you understand things like very clearly. Uh, so yeah, you know, check that out. Uh, so let me show you the, the solution that I came up with, um, you know, for like using React and Webpack and all that stuff. So over here, this is a Rails app. You know, it's just built off the Codemy app that I had before. And as you can see here, it's a really cool editor, um, you know, like very minimalistic. There's just some buttons up here that I can use. So I can do things like, you know, I can bold text and I can like italic, italicize, uh, is that even a word, italicize? So I can italics this text over here. Uh, and I can write code, which is cool. So I can do, uh, you know, index and, and I can do things like post equal post dot all. And you can see the syntax highlighting is happening here in real time. And I can put in multiple languages of, of code snippets in here. So if I click here, you see it's Ruby. If I click here, you see it's JavaScript and here's JSON. Uh, so I can open up new code blocks. I can turn them into paragraphs. Uh, so and type you know, normal text, and if I need to, I can turn them back into code blocks. As you can see, very, very flexible. It's exactly what I need. All of this that you're seeing is built using React and Slate that I just mentioned from before, and I'm using Webpack as the bundler to put everything together. Uh, so, you know, I'll have details about all of this coming very soon on the site, so check that out. Expect to see that coming very, very soon. Um, so gonna, let me show you a little bit of the features of this editor over here. Uh, so you can see we can do the bold text. You've already seen that. Uh, so the code highlighting, I can do things like, um, uh, we can do like, for example, YAML. I can do, uh, so here we can have Zach, uh, name, and age, 31, and then admin, true. So as you can see, it's really, really cool. Very, very flexible. Um, there's a few things missing, but it's enough to show you guys the research that I've been doing all this time that I've been spending, um, you know, in the past couple of weeks, uh, you know, so yeah, so this is, I've been very, very happy with the results. So as you can see here, um, you know, this is a staging site, so you're not going to see this in production just yet. But if I reload this page, you'll see without clicking save, everything is now here. Uh, so this is just a beautiful editor. Uh, you know, I, I love working with it. I love typing with it. You can see the bold text over there, the italics. Um, you can see the syntax highlighting. Uh, it's, it's just a beautiful solution. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do all of this stuff, uh, you know, coming very soon on our site. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube as well and like our video on YouTube. Um, we appreciate your support. Uh, and if you like what you see and, you know, you, you really uh, feel that this is useful, uh, become a member. It's only $9 a month and it really goes a long way and we appreciate your support. Thank you and I will see you guys in the next episode.